Well, everybody, it's time. We're about to do our very first pro hunt for whitetail deer. I'm very, very excited for this, so let's get into it. Let's click on this and set the time to about... Oh, wow, we have to keep it at eight. Okay, well, in that case, let's get into it. I want to give you a chance to bag an old pincushion. He's a wary old whitetail buck who's been shot several times before. And he's always lived to run another day. I have two stands to set up for you. Keep your eye on the wind and choose your spot carefully. Remember, that buck will smell you before it sees you. Old Pincushion will hang back and stick to cover until the rest of the herd has moved into the clearing. You'll need to be patient, but also stay sharp. You may need to move at a moment's notice. Pincushion's about as tough as they come. You're only gonna get one crack at him, so make sure it's a perfect shot. Good luck as you head out to the stand. And remember, get a good feel for the lay of the land around you before you sit down and pick where you're gonna hunt. Pay attention to how the wind cuts across the path of the herd. Don't take all day. The herd is coming your way. This is going to be interesting. I am very, very excited to do this, man. I am kind of curious. So the wind is blowing that way. Man, where are we going to need to go? What's going to be the most beneficial spot for us to sit? I'm kind of thinking over here somewhere. Let's let's see if the deer are coming in at all. I don't want to spook them off, obviously. There they are right there. Okay, so they're all out there. We need to try and get over to this stand. Uh, let's see, does it show? Yeah, this is the stand I want to go to. Wait, see them? Right there. Those are the does. Keep watching. Old pincushion won't be far behind. Okay. We need to get over to this stand, like, right now. I think we're good to move, like, fully stood up. Just walking over here. I don't think it's going to be too big of a problem yet. Ooh, that might be a problem, though. We just spooked off a ton of birds. Those pheasants? Definitely not pheasants. Never mind. <laughs> Look there. We've got the young bucks coming out now. There's some real nice trophies right there, but try to resist the temptation. We're here for the legendary old pincushion himself. I mean, I can't see them, but I'm going to take your word for it that they're there. Let's just keep easing our way up to this stand. We're almost to it. This should be no problem at all. And in fact, the wind is phenomenal from here. And he did mention that pincushion oh, has... The old beast certainly lives up to his reputation at the bull of the woods around here. Look at that rack. That's one heck of a trophy. Don't fire until you're sure you've got a heart or a double lung shot. That old buck's carrying around enough souvenirs already. Well, as I was... We've got more deer heading our way. If you let them get too close, they're going to spook pincushion and blow the whole show. As soon as he turns broadside, take him. As I was saying, <laughs> he said he has a good sense of smell, so we got to be careful. Ooh, I don't know how I like this. I don't know if I like this 6X scope that much. Come on, man. Come on. I, we just need him to go broadside. Once he goes broadside, we're going to take the shot. Come on, man. Stop moving. Come on, pincushion. Uh, dude, he, he does not want to stop at all. I've also noticed this scope has very, like, sensitive movement compared to the other ones. Like, the sensitivity feels really high. Get ready. He's stopping for a bite to eat. Wait for a perfect shot. There's no shot. Wait until he shows you a clean broadside profile. You won't get a second shot on pincushion. Come on, buddy. <sighs> there we go. I think that's clean. I think that should be it. Yes. There we go, lung. 
Double lung, we did it. We got him. Beautiful, man. Yeah, smoked him, smoked him. Go claim your trophy. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. And down he goes. We did it. We killed Pincushion. And we did it with our brand new 6x scope that we got in the last video. There's the blood. Let's track him down. Shouldn't be too hard. I mean, he literally just ran right over here. Hopefully he died in a good spot, though. Yeah, he's in the open. That is super, super cool. What does this big old buck have in terms of tines? I mean, he's not like crazy. But I mean, I, I have noticed that this game seems to, at least as of now, lean more towards realistic sizes instead of like uh, the giants you see in other hunting games. This seems to be more like along the realistic side of things to what you'd be more likely to find on like public land. 1,200. You know, it's really interesting that we still only got 1,200 credits for this. I assume we're going to get more when we finish this completely. We'll see though. Pin cushion is down. Oh yeah, 7,200 credits. That is what we love to see. Holy crap. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. That is exactly what I was hoping to get. So let's go ahead and continue. A lot of folks around here are gonna be jealous when they hear about you taking old pin cushion. You've earned the right to hang his antlers on your wall. Well played, sir. We did it. We killed Pincushion. Now we got to work our way towards whatever this boar up here is. We need to kill a lot of wild boar. Like a lot of them. But obviously we're going to do that in a different video. What I want to do in this series is keep these pro hunts completely separate from like the other hunts. The other hunts will be those like uh, 25 to 50 minute ish long videos that have very minimal editing. And then for the actual pro hunts, we're going to keep each of those videos to just that pro hunt so thank you guys so much for watching this shorter video here on cabela's big game hunter pro hunts really appreciate you guys watching if you enjoyed leave a comment down below letting me know and if you haven't already hit that like button and subscribe to the channel it is a massive help and it helps these videos reach more viewers so i will see you all in the next one peace